Hey guys, it's Brad from B&T Catfishing Adventures. You can call me Chef Brad today. Now actually, we're getting ready. Yeah, we're gonna cut up some chicken for catfishing. That's right, we're gonna do the strawberry chicken. Now generally, I do this in the Jello. I've had more success, and there's actually more protein stuff and different things in there that the catfish like, but I'm out of Jello. So we are going to do the Kool-Aid, strawberry flavor Kool-Aid. We're going to show you how we mix it up, whether we use Kool-Aid or whether we use Jello. We're going to show you how we do it right here. Stay tuned. All right, folks, here we go. We got our chicken breast laying out there. I had a couple I thought out was going to do dinner and ended up deciding to go out to eat. That's probably a good piece, but for some reason, I just wanted to cut that off right there. Now, here's how we cut this off. Some people will do this, and I'm going to do maybe a couple slices like this. Today, I'm only going to cut one up because chicken, plain chicken by itself, will catch plenty of fish. Now, the strawberry flavored chicken works well too. Some people like to cut it in shapes like this because it's more similar to the body shape of a fish, just like that, okay? But it's also bigger, may move more on the water, the vibrations may cause the fish, it to help them find the bait more easy other than just smell. All right, but a lot of times you can take this and you can just put this in little chunks it doesn't have to be very big at all when you do this. So we're just gonna cut it up right here. Mercy me, just like this. My goodness, y'all, look at this. This is looking so fine right here. All right. See, so y'all think this is the Cajun chef going on right now. But no, it is not. I have worked in some restaurants in my day though. But here we go we're just cutting them up into little bite chunks right here like this now a lot of people want to do this and they say and look at that I didn't do more than one of those but that's all right we're gonna throw these in right here a lot of people want to use garlic they want to use soy sauce they want to use all these different things and add to their concoction you don't have to do that now you don't actually have to add any water to this either you're just going to put this in dry. The chicken has plenty of moisture. And we're going to put it in just like that, y'all. My goodness. That looks good. Smells good, too. Miss Tammy's running my camera over there. And uh, she's doing a fine job. Look at this. We're going to mix this up like this. And it's already turning, y'all. Look at that. It's already turning. Now, we're going to put this in the refrigerator. We're going to leave it overnight and tomorrow that is going to be ready to catch some catfish. There you go folks. That is strawberry flavored chicken just like that. Well folks that's how you do it with the strawberry flavored chicken for catfish. That's right. That bait works wonders. You got all these people out there that are going to talk trash about it. Generally, it's those people that haven't tried it uh, or they've tried it one time. No bait works 100% every time. But this not only catches some small fish, it catches large fish. Generally, the fish we catch with this bait is five pounds or larger. We catch the teeners, we've caught in the 20 pounds, and you can catch much bigger than that as well with strawberry flavored chicken bait. Now, Regular chicken by itself works just as well. But that's a recipe, folks. You don't have to spend a lot of money buying some garlic. You know, save that for your spaghetti and this and that and all your other recipes and all this. Just put the strawberry flavor right in there. Mix it up. Don't add any water. Put your Jello in there. Put your Kool-Aid in there. Whichever you want to use. I recommend the Jello personally. But you experiment. You try it out. See what works for you. There you go, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you like this and uh, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you soon back on the water. Take care. Mm -hmm.